Hello guys, we're back with our Witch Lady recreation. Um, I talked in the last one about what I might do in this episode and I wasn't really sure to be honest which which bit to go for, whether to do some of the stuff near the hunting dogs which we did last time or carry on over around the hippos but I think I've decided that this week we're going to look at this area around here. Um, I covered this briefly in the first or second video, I can't remember, um, but these are the Otter Island and then the Red Panda Enclosure. Um, I've kind of done rough outlines, the Otters, I, I kind of did it um, but a bit half-heartedly really and um, I have been inspired by a lot of really, really cool looking builds on Discord and um, stuff that other people are doing to completely redo it really um originally i was going to go for just just putting the rock um terrain around it to make it sort of give the impression that it's a concrete pond um which it is actually in real life um it's all lined proper proper pool rather than just sort of banks like this um so i think what i'm going to try and do is actually a bit like with the what i did with the hippo pools try and do a proper proper lined pool um, with the plaster pieces and things so it will be all the sides and, and then up so the whole thing and probably as part of that I might end up using the um, the plaster as well to do a kind of fake path around the outside because I think that will be best to make it a sort of smooth transition between the land and the uh, the actual pool because the uh, as I've said before, like the, the way the terrain works is a bit jagged and things in, in areas and I don't think I'm going to be able to get it looking really nicely, um, sort of realistic if I don't do it like that with the um, the bits on the outside. So I'll probably try and do that. Um, more terrain work and things, um, a lot more planting is needed anyway, but I'll try and try and redo this as, as best as I can. Um, obviously it is again quite a small area this for very small animals so it's hard to get a, um, a really good scale of things but I'll try and do my best um, and then over here the red panda enclosure um, this is quite a basic enclosure um, it's just a massive tree uh, and then it's kind of a again a sort of dry moat um, so there's a the whole thing is kind of in a ditch at the edges and then it sort of raises up in the middle um, there's a few nest boxes and some perching and things in there for them to climb up and on around the base of the tree and then the tree is their main feature so um, that will probably be a similar thing to the uh, the otters because it's got the the same kind of concrete around the outside and that sort of thing so it might be the same with the fake path around the edge um, I'll have a play about and see what I can make of it I might also look at doing this little bit in here so this is the gower enclosure which I've got buffalo in um, and it's, it's mostly done uh, except I didn't do the um, the fence, I didn't do the fence, it, it's going to be a custom fence because it's kind of metal bars and things um, and I didn't do that when I made, made the original enclosure, I kind of left that bit out and this is all still my temporary um, boundary fence just to mark out where enclosures are so I'll probably try and sort that out as well so then this this little bit is finished um, and then I think that'll uh, that'll be nice to do a couple of smaller enclosures because they sort of break up the, the big open spaces um, for all the hoof stock so yeah if we can get those two done then uh, and we can carry on expanding out around this area and, and doing this area in the next one maybe so yeah I'll uh, I'll put some pictures and um, some map views up and then I'll be back when it's done. Okay guys, so we are back and all finished. Um, as I'm recording this actually, it is World Otter Day, I found out, so it's quite appropriate that we've 
done the otters this time. Um, so I've got everything done that I wanted to. Um, some of it's a little bit tricky to to do. It's just a, it's quite awkward. I'll go through it as I am um, as I go through each part. So um, we'll just take a look quickly at the Gower fence because that's one extra thing that I wanted to get done um, in this episode. So it's quite simple. It's just a metal fence that goes all the way around and um, yeah I think it's it just makes it finishes it off this area quite nicely I think and um, there will be electric and stuff on it but it's uh, it's does the job basically which is fine I'm happy with that um, so yeah that's all the way around and it just yeah it makes everything a bit brighter because it's not all completely solid wood and stuff um, and then the view from uh, from down here you get a, uh, a much better view now um, now that it looks like it's a uh, yeah it will kind of see through and stuff so yeah that is um that is the gower enclosure pretty much finished um, there might be a couple of little touches around the house that I still need to do I can't remember I need to take another look over there really um, but yeah in general um, all the house and stuff is done I know I went into it in the first episode but I'll just do a little quick quick view of it now for anyone who hasn't seen that first one so um, yeah this is the enclosure for the Gower which is a big wild cattle that we have um, and I've got buffalo in their place um, it's a nice, quite a nice house quite quite um, easy to maneuver animals around it's got nice yards and things um, a bit of standoff fencing and things like that on the side with some trees and um, yeah, there's a, um, a shelter in the paddock and then, yeah, just a few trees dotted about, a nice big grassy area and um, tree guards, one of the one of the good things for realism, uh, anything with horns pretty much, um, at least some of the trees would probably be protected from uh, animals rubbing constantly on them and damaging the bark and the trees themselves, so just quite a nice simple in in real life they're metal but these are just those thin wood planks which look quite nice so um yeah just a bit of that on there um but yeah that is uh that is the gower paddock um all pretty much finished so now down to the main bits that we've done so we'll go for the um the red pandas first so this is our finished red panda enclosure so <clears throat> Uh, I've managed to make it a proper working enclosure which is good because I, I did want to try and get get it working since we actually do have red pandas in the game um, the uh, the tricky bit as you can probably tell from this monstrosity over here is trying to get the paths and things to work because um, this enclosure is sort of a ditch as I said it's it was quite tricky trying to get get the fence to line up I thought the easiest thing to do would be to have the fence um, sunken into the ground so because uh, I've had this fake path around the terrain itself actually stops um, sort of halfway through the width, width of the uh, the path and then it's all sunken down so this this is just covering up that terrain change and then all this stuff in here can just be a kind of retaining wall but it's all kind of fake um, so yeah to get that look I've I've had to yeah sunk, sink all the terrain in all the way around the enclosure as well and I've put the I wanted the um, the mesh around the outside as the main habitat barrier um, because that's what it actually is so here we go he's demonstrating the way that the um, the path works so the gate is also sunken into the ground and so I'm not I'm not too worried that the keepers and things will walk walk sort of into the ground to get into there um, but it's just the way this all this sort of bit looks um, is a bit it's not great I've kind of made an, an elevated path it's annoying that it's got these um, curb things on it but I, th I don't think there's a way you can get rid of them for the because it counts as an elevated one uh, and then I've just put mulch on to cover the, um, the gaps because obviously the width of the path means that I can't alter the terrain there so um, and I, I didn't want the actual path itself coming out too wide so this is um, yeah just some mulch turned upside down so it's completely flat just to 
make the look of some bare earth. Um, so within the actual enclosure itself, as I said, it's just one big tree um, that the pandas can climb up, which is nice. And then within it, we've got a few logs and things, um, a few little plants, and then some nest boxes. So I've made two different types of nest box. So there's these, this big kind of reddish one, um, and there's two of them with a little, that's supposed to be a little opening for them to get into, um, a water bowl. Um, and then these ones on the trees, these ones I think look quite nice actually. They're um, this slightly different shape. Um, so we've got one on this branch here and then one on the actual tree itself. So yeah, quite quite a nice basic um, enclosure, but none of these nest boxes and things obviously are usable, but um, the panda can climb up into the tree, which is nice, and it, and it will also walk around on the ground, which is good. Um, so yeah, that is, uh, that is the panda. So there's no path anywhere around this that um, actual game people can use um, except that goes to this gate uh, and then uh, yeah I'm not sure exactly how I'll connect it on down here is where the squirrel monkey island is so I'm not sure exactly how all this pathing and stuff's going to be connected it might be that all the stuff in between these is kind of fake and then the the bit sort of connecting from down here to this island will be real I'm not really sure because um, the squirrel monkey one has a big moat around it as well so it might be similar to the otters which I'll show now so um yeah we'll cross that bridge when we come to it but yeah that is that is the red panda enclosure for now um one red panda in there uh, yeah it's turned out quite nice then so down this way is the otters so this one I am I'm much happy with it now um, you saw what it was before and I think it looks much better. Um, so quite a lot of changes I've made um, to this. So the big one, as I said, I, um, I've lined everything with plaster so that it looks like it is man-made rather than all natural. So it took a lot of fiddling about, a lot of duplications, there's a lot of pieces in there. and. Um, just to make things line up and look right and join smoothly and everything. But yeah, I, th I think the actual effect of it is is much better um, compared to what it was before. Um, and this is how it is in real life. It's It's got these sort of pale walls and things. It, the bottom, the water is a bit murkier um, and it's got plants and things within it. So, um, but every time I put murkier water in, it seems to have automatically been cleaned, um, I think. So, yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't be as clear, but that I, I've just changed the base of it to be a bit darker to mimic that. Um, so yeah, all that stuff around the edges took a long time. And we've got a bit of planting and some logs and things within the water. Um, then this bit is the keeper access bridge. So this habitat isn't usable, um, it's just for show. But um, this would be where the keepers access. So there's just a... Um, little bridge that goes across to the island and then all well, this has got electric fence around it. I've had to use the rope for electric fence which isn't ideal because it doesn't look great but it, it kind of gives the vibe of an electric fence and I've put, put the one all around the outside. There will be multiple strands but I thought just one would do. Um, save on pieces and everything as well. So um, yeah then the actual habitat itself same with the red pandas all the the whole thing is sunken down and then the, um, the chain link is put all the way around it sunken into the ground so so that it's poking up to be the barrier um, on the actual island itself these temple rocks are really good they're rubble um, there's a sort of stony bit um, at the edge here stony beach part so I've used a lot of them in these African decorative rocks, I think they're called, just to add a bit of variation in there. Um, some bigger rocks and bit bits dotted around. Um, quite a lot of planting, it's quite densely planted. Um, depends how much it's maintained, if it's cut back a lot or if it's just left to be a bit more wild. But um, I've kind of gone for the middle ground, so there's quite a lot of planting, but you can still see some of the ground. Um, there's a couple of little boxes for um, power and things like that. Uh, uh, one big tree in there and then a couple of bigger bushes and then the rest of it's just quite low level foliage. Um, 
yeah, a few rocks and bits dotted about, as I said. On this side, we've got the, um, there's a little pool at the top, which I struggled to actually mimic. I was gonna use one of the special effects, the ripple kind of thing, but it was too big and it went overlapped the, um, onto the grass, so it just looked wrong. So I, I decided to ignore that and I've just made a little waterfall thing, which was difficult again, because it's quite small scale. Um, and all the bits were a bit too big. So I've just used the water jets um, and a rapids effect to make it look like a waterfall. Um, so yeah, that comes down there on that side. And then on this side, we've got the, um, there is a, another bit that come, kind of comes down here, but I don't remember really seeing that bit, having water coming down it very often. Um, and then the other main feature of this island is this bit which I think has turned out quite well compared to what I th thought it might be so this is the actual house for the otters so it's sunken into the ground of the island um, all kind of underground so there's just a few little steps that come down it's not exactly accurate but this is basically what it is so yeah a few steps sunken down and then all cut sort of lined with rock and things and then that is the entrance for the keepers and the otters so there's a little uh, a little cat flap type thing which I forgot to put in actually so I'll probably add that in just a little square um, and then that is the the otter house within there so obviously I haven't made any interiors it's all just exterior um, so um, other than that that is that is the main the main bit really quite a short episode but this took a lot of work and to a certain extent the red pandas did as well all this um making sure all the bits of the fake path line up and all this pond stuff was really tricky there's a lot of bits to line up so um yeah a lot of bits but it's turned out looking good and uh, yeah like i say much happier than what it was before um yeah i think before it just looked a bit like like i say i'd kind of had a rough go at it and it was it wasn't I didn't think it was finished anyway but yeah this is this is much better it looks much better um so yeah that's this kind of bit done there's a few little bits to do in between um I'll probably do some terrain stuff there's a couple of logs and bits but in general that bit there is quite bare between this lot um and then there's a lot more stuff kind of around these sides um and then behind down this way is a lot more stuff so um, yeah, that is the otters and red pandas. Hopefully we get otters in the game, but I don't know if this would even be possible to use for them because of the way that it's all set up. Um, I doubt that it would be with the water and everything. So, uh, yeah, even if we do get otters, possibly won't work. But I think visually it looks, it looks how it should look, so that's good and I'm happy with that. So... Um, that is that little bit done so next time options would be to maybe carry on down here do the squirrel monkey island um which i think i'm gonna put capuchins in their place um just as i was i was thinking of um the red rough lemurs but since the capuchins came out i thought it'd be nice to actually get some use out of the south america animals so um that that might be an option to do that um, and maybe a little bit more around in this area. Um, we've got the lake there, which is a big thing to try and do. Um, and then over this way, as I said in the last one, we've got the crane um, enclosure there, and a, a bit of the public stuff, and maybe this patch here. So, um, or we could go over there. So many, many options, but um, yes, I'm not sure exactly where we'll go from here. If you have any thoughts, let me know in the comments. Um, if there's anything in particular you think I should do next. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with any of the future Whipsnade Zuru creation episodes. And I will see you in the next one.